2003 Jaguar XKR 4.2 supercharged this one good colours as well with the right wheels of those BBS's on looks right sits right body weight wise we're going to start off on the bonnet all nice and straight down the bonnet it wants a bit of a hand polish there's some sort of surface scratches here and there on it off a sponge or where it's been washed Around all events, all nice and clean. No paint peeling off here. Got a little bit of a bird, sort of bird poo mark there on the bonnet. Come down the nose. Come, we've got some stone chips and bits and pieces with it being a black car. You're going to get those. You're going to notice them a little bit more. Apologies about the background noise there. There's a lot going on here today. Lights are all nice and clear as we come around the nose. Come, there is some stone chips on the bumper and a little bit of a scratch there, but really mainly scuff free. Those indicators are all nice and clear, crack free. Mesh grills all there as well. Same on the on the driver's side, seems to be scuff free, but there is some stone chips on there. Nice and usable though. Onto the driver's front wing. Around the top here, where there's normally a bit of corrosion around the around the screens, all alright. This Addy trim looks all good as well. So I know they're fortunes, that's all nice. As we come down the driver's front wing, nice and straight around that wheel arch. Like I say, a few little scratches in the paint, which will would polish out, I think. Down the bottom there is nice. If you go down the sill, with it being sort of the old three plate of shape, you don't have those horrible sill covers, so at least you can see the sills and what's going on. Up the driver's door again, across the top, like I say, all these, all these trims sometimes bubble up. They're all nice and straight, nice and clean. They're all nice and tidy, so we've got no problems with those. I know from previous uh, experiences these are a fortune but they're all nice and tidy down the door nice and straight down both sides this one no real scratching around that handle either onto the rear quarter we'll do the roof dead quick the roof's all nice and straight no dents or stone chips or rust across the leading edges nice and usable this one it really is ready to go onto the rear arch got a tiny little bit down here on the driver's rear arch, you can see that there on the camera as you come round the rear arch, nice and straight, still got the little mud guards on and you've got a few little blebs at the back and along the bottom there. Wheels are all alright, the edges are all nice, a little bit in the middle there but the other BBS's and the right wheels for the car look good. As we come round this rear bumper again, nice and straight, scuff free, which is nice considering it's got parking sensors, you'd be slightly worried. There was loads of scuffs on there with parking sensors. Bit of shaky camera work there, apologies there. The light lenses are nice and clear on the rear. That little spoiler's all good. Around the rear screen again, the Addy trim's all nice. No problems with that. The boot lid itself's good, it's had nothing on it. It's not been closed with a load of scratches on there, all nice and straight. Across the bumper, all good all the way around. A few little stone chips here and there, got a little bit of a mark there. And a big GB sticker, but again, light lenses are all nice, even across here, not bad at all. As we come around onto the passenger rear quarter, got a little bit of corrosion there starting. As we go around the arch, the rest of the arch itself is all nice and straight. As we come round down the bottom, all good down here, a few stone chips, but that's about it, really. Around the fuel cup again, nice and clean, no scratches. Both sides of this alley trim is all nice on the sides there. No problems with that. So come down the quarter again. Lovely and straight. A few little chips on the back edge of the door there. Across the bottom of the passenger sill. Looks to be all good. Up the door, let's see a few little scratches here. Up the door's all nice and clean and straight. Again, down there is all good. Even around the wing mirrors, there's no corrosion around there. That looks good. You can see how straight it is, especially for a black car. On an 03 plate onto the passenger front wing as we go around the arch all nice few little stone chips but that is about it all over you about there and i'm thinking by the looks of it we've got a matching set of pretty p0s again attention to detail see what sort of owners have this vehicle with matching pirellis on it Clearly being well maintained. The colour scheme on the interior is lovely on this one. Door card's all nice and clean. So it's that black and red leather with that greeny wood, which is gorgeous. Door card's lovely. We'll do the rear seats first. 
typical XKR had very little use those. That's just the seat moving forward there. Very little use in those back seats. No rips or tears there. The parcel shelf's nice as well. Most importantly, that headlining is lovely. And it seems to be mark free, sag free, which is nice to see. All nice and clean. A little bit of wear on the seat and a little bit on the bolster. But again, check the website for all the details on the mileage and stuff. It's shown 84,529 miles this car. Good mileage. Lovely. I've never seen one with that colour kind of scheme in there before. half wood wheels, lovely. And across the top, the dash is all nice and straight. The dash itself with that wood, no lack of peel there. Little nav screen there as well. No lack of peel at all. Lovely coloured wood. Dials are all nice and clear. Down the centre console again. Nice and straight. No real wear there at all. Nice place to be. The carpet set's all clean. Into the boot now. <clears throat> again, same condition. You've got your six sack there as well. <clears throat> I'll lift this boot floor up if I can. I'll get to, I'll go inside. We might just lift that boot floor up for us. Sorry about that, guys. On the passenger front door card again. Nice condition, nice and straight. Mark three rounds here. No real wear. Passenger seat show a tiny amount of wear on the bolster. But again, lovely condition there. We will have a look at the back seat. Again, same sort of condition. They look like they've had very, very little use in their life, if any, really. But slightly pointless anyway. Again, all nice and tidy and clean on the passenger side. Boot floor, you've got your space saver. Nice and tidy and clean in there. No problems with that. Engine bay is again same condition throughout this vehicle. Clearly been well looked after and well maintained. All nice and straight in there. I will get the vehicle started up here for you guys. We hear the engine. Even in there is all nice and clean. Firing straight up there. Sounds nice, that no one wanted noises from that engine there, that 4.2 supercharged automatic lights, things like that, no three plate. We'll check the dash for warning lights. We'll see what's going on. It'll have one for the boot and door being open, I presume. Boot open, but apart from that, oh, and the fuel light's on. Is that the fuel light there? No, it's a boot yeah. open light there. No other warning lights on the dash there. So there you have it, the 2003 Jaguar XKR 4.2 supercharged in black.